Um, so I was inspired to give this talk at the Melbourne Apple Admins um, because I, I apply, advertised for a job for a, a new uh, Maxis admin to come and work with us. And I got 120 applicants. And 100 of those applicants, of course, are the low grades of junk. People are overseas. They've never even seen a computer before. But then 20 of them could have been possibles. And they, they were hopeful. But I found that the way that they had applied in their CVs all sort of sucked a bit. And so I thought, well, perhaps I would impart some wisdom from somebody who's doing the hiring. Um, and I got up, caught up with a couple other people in, who in similar position for who had been hiring other people in technology and came up with a few um, little hints and tips that might help you get employed. First thing that surprised a lot of people is a cover letter versus a CV. Um, you might spend ages crafting your cover letter when you apply for a job, but actually it doesn't really get read unless the information in your CV interests them to read your cover letter. So really, the CV is the, the number one tool, and the, the cover letter is kind of like a bit of icing on the cake. Um, bear that in mind. So what do you look for? Well, number one, experience. Are you already working in the same sort of position or one slightly lower down? And that's probably the, 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 the biggest way that you're going to get hired. Maybe certifications. What sort of certs are we talking about? Well, for Mac admins, obviously Apple certs, vendor certs, your CCT, CCAs. Um, I asked the question before and said, um, so if, if, you asked, if, I, if I was hiring for a, a Maxis admin, what's actually probably the number one cert that I would want from somebody to do that? Would anybody hazard a guess? MCSE. MCSE? Maybe, but on, on the right track? RHC. Sorry? RHC. Yeah, Red Hat. I think that's probably, strangely enough, the number one cert that I'd be interested in somebody having because they're going to need that to look after all the infrastructure that runs the Macs. Possibly if you're mad and you do it on Windows, then maybe the MCFC is uh, what you need. Um, then looking at qualifications, and I see a lot of jobs that say, you must have an undergraduate degree in IT or equivalent experience. And so out of curiosity, how many people here have an undergraduate degree in IT? Well, I, that's a good, very good question. Um, but not many. I think that was uh, three or four hands went up. Um, I'm concerned that in the future, I think this is generational, and I'm concerned in the future that's just going to become, you're going to need an undergraduate degree in IT. Um, so how can we deal with it for people like myself who have a degree in biochemistry, which has very little to do with uh, Max? Um, consider postgraduate diplomas or masters. And if you're thinking that sounds like a lot of hard work, I can tell you one thing, your competition has them um, out of those uh, 20 CVs that were possible, virtually everybody had a, a master's degree. It was uh, really quite telling. And then your other interests. Turning up at conferences like this, going along to your, your local um, Apple meetup or whatever meetups you might do. Getting out there, talking to people, doing code, and deciding that you're going to write a, a Santa server during yeah, Hex World is, is always a good one. You know, that really piques people's interest. So, one other thing, I, when I was hiring, um, I wasn't entirely sure how much to pay a, a, a Maxis admin. And so I did a little salary survey and trying to figure out if you're into Max, should you get paid more than a, just a generic IT person? Um, generally, everybody thought that they should. Um, <laughs> but also, is there a difference between the industry, between like a university, schools, um, working in the private sector? And so we, we did this um, the survey just for um, the the people who turned up at the Melbourne Mac admins, and we had about 41, 42 responses. And I'm just going to run through them now. So um, if you're working on a help desk, the average salary we found was between 55 to 60. People seem to think that they should get paid about 10,000 more. But looking at the, the industry guide, which I'll touch on in a moment, it was actually about the right price. And certainly people working in universities were getting paid more than in schools. A junior Mac admin, 6065, they thought they could get paid more. Again, that's kind of about right for industry. Full on Mac admin, again, um, people were getting paid about 75 to 80. They, they, and people seem to think that you should get paid somewhere between 65 and 90, so somebody thought they should get paid less than they did, which is interesting. <laughs> but uh, the industry guide, it's, it's kind of on the money that we're seeing there. 
And, and once again, uh, people working at universities were getting paid significantly more than uh, working at schools. And we, we start, there weren't many uh, responses people in the private sector, but we started to see them here. And we saw that they were actually getting paid a bit more than universities, but um, with the university package, it wasn't necessarily that totally comparable. Um, senior Mac admin, pushing up to about 100 grand. Definitely working in the private sector is where you sort of um, stretch out ahead here. And um, again, if it, looking at somebody who's very similar to um, a, you know, a senior Mac admin would be a, a Unix administrator. And again, they're getting paid significantly more. So if you, uh, I've flown through all of this as you imagine. If you're interested to see um, how you stack up, if you download this guide from Hayes, um, it's free to download and they'll, they'll, they'll just email it to you. You can have a look and see how much people in your industry are getting paid. And they also break it down in Australia for um, Sydney, Melbourne, and then regional areas as well. So it's a very good way of benchmarking how much you get paid and should you get paid more, or is it time to look for a new job? So um, I, I, I'm just going to leave you, um, and I hope one day that somebody will look at me like my son looks at this beer. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.